I'm going to begin by asking you to put your hand over your heart and feel the first organ formed in your mother's womb, but also the most likely organ to become malformed in a fetus. I want you to continue to feel your heartbeat as I tell you the story of when I first met Aria. She had just gone through open heart surgery as a vulnerable indigenous Maori newborn. Now imagine how I felt years ago working as a pregnant Pacifica doctor when I found out that Pākehā babies are one and a half times more likely to survive to their first birthday when born with half a heart than those of Māori or Pacifica descent. I had to investigate why this inequity occurs in an already heartbreaking journey. Excuse the pun. Therefore, my research gathered both measurable facts and somewhat immeasurable human stories to better understand why this inequity occurs. So what did I find? Firstly, Pākehā babies have double the chance of receiving surgery and going on to survive their Māori or Pacifica infants, suggesting perhaps a bias in the way treatment plans are made. Secondly, stories from parents told me of their heartbreak and trauma. Although grateful for their care overall, some perceived unjust treatment, saying, I just felt like no one was helping us, or am I not good enough? Thirdly, interviews with doctors, midwives, and specialist nurses who work in this area, although the majority were Pākehā, told me of their privileged position working within a Western healthcare system. Through these discussions, I've identified the need for diversification of the workforce and the systems they work within, as well as more training and support for those on the cultural awareness journey. As someone in my research actually put it, we're humans dealing with humans. We're not humans dealing with cars. Through information gained from my research, I am hopeful that we can build a healthcare system that protects and humanizes babies and parents of all ethnic groups. As a mother myself, I know if Aria was my child, I would want to give her the best chance at life. Thankfully, this is Aria now. She bet the odds. And if that doesn't pull at your heartstrings, I don't know what will.